so today <clears throat> we will read Rasa. Uh, uh, sorry. Today we will read Radha Rasa Sudhanidi, verse hundred forty six. There is an adolescent girl in the new vine cottage in mm. Brindalan. Mm. Who creates endless wonderful love arts whose body is motionless when she is tightly embraced by the proud arms of Nanda's son and who manifests herself as embodiment of deep eternal bliss, rasa, and prema. So I will repeat again the words, which is the glorification of Shrimati Radharani's beautiful, sublime qualities. There is an adolescent girl in the new vine cottage in Vrindavan who creates endless, wonderful love arts, whose body is motionless when she is tightly embraced by the proud arms of Nanda's son and who manifests herself as embodiment of deep eternal bliss rasa and prema so the commentary of our beloved Ananta Das Babaji. Anyone who even once tasted the nectar of devotion to Krishna can never forget that. And what to speak then of anyone who has even once relish the nectar of Sri Radhika's maid service. The eagerness for this sweetness will increase more and more in the heart of sincere devotee. And devotee will feel that Radhika's forms, pastimes, and the qualities are always new again and again, every time. Sripad, who is in the kingdom of Mahabhav, clearly experiences the sweetness of divine couple when he is absorbed in his Manjari Bhav. I will stop here and read again the commentary. And please, if anyone wants to share something, do it. Anyone who even once tasted the nectar of devotion to Krishna, can never forget it. And what to speak then of anyone who has even once relished the nectar of Sri Radhika's maid service. So Prabhupada Saraswati is the example 
of Rasik devotee, Radhika's maid servant, who is writing out of his ecstasy, he is writing this beautiful words because he is not only once relished the maid servants of Shimati Radhika, but she is he is always or she is always diving in this ocean of Radhika's maid servants. So in the beginning Baba is saying anyone who even once tasted the nectar of devotion to Krishna can never forget it. So we can see here the taste is the most important thing in all activities and in all existence of the person. Of course Baba is pointing here the taste for devotional service, not taste in material life activities and so on and so on. Yeah. And he is saying that only taste of nectar, of devotion to Krishna can satisfy the soul. Yayatma suprasiddhati. Because he wants to make a different, as I understand, he wants to make clear difference between material taste and relishing and God consciousness relishing some kind of devotional service. Because this is the beginning, this is the path of the soul, how it progresses. When, he, when the soul starts to ask the proper questions, or maybe it's better to say when the person asks proper questions, who am I? Why I'm born here? Why I have to suffer? And so on and so on. Then he starts to open his consciousness for higher existence. And then, God consciousness, by the mercy of the God, is slowly starting to enter in his life. Enlightening his consciousness and convincing him that he is not this body but Jiva or the soul. And like the soul is eternal servant of the God. So everyone who is tasting this kind of devotional service can never forget it. It's because it's completely about all this material existence. So next step is like Gurudev is saying so much and many times when you finally assign to God, when you know who God is, the next step is, okay, I know you, now I want to love you. And in that moment, person is ready for the next step to learn how to purely love Supreme Personality of Godhead. And then he starts to understand that without his embodiment of love, he cannot do it. Only embodiment of Krishna's love can teach devotee how to love and how to serve in this loving devotional mood.
So this is the reason why all our Acharyas were saying, without Radharani, no one can attain Krishna. Because without love and devotional service, with pure love, how we can approach to this kind of personality, Supreme Personality of God. So this is the Different stages, which devotees are very well known, but we are repeating and repeating and repeating this because there in this path, there is a lot of blockages which block the progression to take complete shelter of Radharani. And only through complete shelter of Radharani, Jiva can receive her qualities, her emotions. Her way of artful service. And how Jiva is receiving this Qualities from Srimati Radhika through Radhika's maid servants. So Swarup Shakti gives opportunity in the form of Radhika. Embodiment is Radhika. Swarup Shakti is giving this opportunity to Jiva to attain Swarup Shakti but its own Swarup Shakti. And only when Swarup Shakti, the source, embodiment of Swarup Shakti, Radhika, gives complete Kripa to the Jiva, then Jiva attains Siddha Deha by the mercy of Guru and is able to have a Darshan of Radharani. Swarup Shakti has to open a door for attaining Swarup through which we can receive the proper eyes, proper ears, proper spiritual senses that we can perceive embodiment of love, embodiment of Swarup Shakti. So this is Summarizing the teaching of our Gurudev and also our Acharyas. So the mood of Prabodhananda Saraswati is exactly like this. He is the maidservant, fully infused with Swarup Shakti, with Prema Shakti, with Radha Shakti. And for him, she is reality, she is a fact. And we can see this, his position, from first words, from in the words. He is saying, there is an adolescent girl. There is an Kishori. There is. This is the fact for him. This is the reality for him. I see her. I touch her. I feel her. I have direct darshan. Although he is on the stage of Bhava and Prem, he is saying, There is. My dear Neophytes, there is. Be sure that she is present. I see her. And then he starts to describe this Kishoriji, adolescent girl. Because his heart is melting out of love for her. And these words are actually the liquid prema of his heart.
this sound vibration, these syllables are also liquid prema. And with this prema, my dears, he is also splashing Radhika's heart and Radhika's rupa existence. This is the effect of heart which is completely melted. When we say melting, it's nectaria, nectar, intoxication, intoxic liquid love. And Radhika is so naturally also attracted to be sprinkled with the love of her maidservant. There is adolescent girl in the new vine cottage in Vrindavana. Now he starts to, to describe the natural position of Vrindavan. This is the only place where this adolescent girl can live. This is the only about for her living. And so on and so on. In the words, it is explained how he glorifies Raduka. And through this glorification, this is the prayer, but this kind of prayer is splashing the Radhika's form, heart. And this is the meaning of real loving prayer. Because devotee who has beloved Ishtadev, he wants to dive his Ishtadev in his own love. Usually we are waiting that Radhika is giving us the waves of love. We are waiting that Radhika splash us. And this is okay. But we, in Nitya Siddha, cases of devotees, we can see that they are, they want to splash with their own waves of love, Shrimati Radharani. And then this is the exchange of pure love and mutual love between Ishtadev and devotee. So Prabhupada and the Sarasati here is splashing our ears with his liquid loving words, but also he is splashing with his love, his beloved Shimata Radharan. Anyone who even once tasted the nectar of devotion to Krishna can never forget that. And what to speak then of anyone who has even once relished the nectar of Sri Radhika's maid service? The eagerness for this sweetness will increase more and more in the heart of sincere devotee. And devotee will feel that Radhika's forms, pastimes and qualities are always new again and again every time. So my question is to Gurudev, what does it mean to be sincere? 
The thing is this, uh, you say now that when we see Krishna, we are very happy because that moment, even I am so conditioned, I don't know about my soul. And I want to research myself who I am. And that way, we know the super soul and we want to connect myself with the soul to super soul that is a Krishna. This is Krishna. When this is so nice, what about Radhika's mid-server? Because one stage when you are telling, I realize that why yesterday is important. Why the deities are important. Why? When Krishna is there, Krishna is there. But why yesterday is important? Why to fix in one is to form one? If you know fixed Ishtadev, Ishtadev means Radha, Krishna. If you know fixed in Radha, how you will know Krishna? And this is, maybe take one picture, take deity, but you have to fix this is Radha and his Krishna is this, his lover is this. For that, you have to fix one place. You cannot fix with human. You cannot fix with anyone. You have to fix one is the devil. That is Radha. He is Radharani and his lover is Krishna. One stage. Then you know the beauty of Radhika. Wow. This Krishna, then you become more close with Krishna, more understand Krishna. Before you not understand Krishna, but you will very easily understand Radha's Krishna. And what about if you become Dasi of Radhika? You, when you will become Dasi of Radhika, you become close to her. Dasi means closeness, not distance. You like her is the one thing she also needs you. That is the meaning of Dasi. Dasi like Radhika, but Radhika also needs Dasi. Who will take care of her? She needs help. Then Dasis are telling, why are you worried? When I am with you, why are you worried? I will take care of you. You don't need to worry. I will take you. I will take all responsibility. This is good. How this closeness comes without closeness, without relation, without feeling. You grow the feeling, things will grow. Feelings is the highest thing. Feeling without feeling, without relation, there is no closeness. Inkari, tú le haces una pregunta, si yo te la, si yo te la digo, porque Bhagavatam Ritan te lo hacía.
Te llevo el internet de ella, no. Guru there we don't hear you. It, it was interruption short. No. We don't hear you, Guru Dev. Someone has to unmute your mic. Progress, 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 progress. Now, yeah. Can you say something, Guru? Rade, 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 rade. This is a big echo. The echo, the echo. echo is spreading all around. I hope. <laughs> Just close to Yeah, go on. Now it's yeah. okay. Yeah. Now it's okay. Yeah. yeah. How do you hear us, Gurudev? Yes, good. Now you are the I share. <laughs> okay. It's a stage of consciousness. Everyone has to be check his stage. Yes. And he has to, if he desire to improve, he can improve. If he has no desire, he will not improve. Greed is important for improvement. If I have a greed, I will improve here. I have a greed for something, I will improve that. So it means sincerity. Yeah. When yeah. someone is Really sincere devotee, it means like you explained. Yes, Suniti Ji. I, what I got as an inner gist, what I got from what Gurudev was uh, sharing, that it starts, of course, we start all, most of us, with Krishna. But then the thing is, who is Krishna? Right? In what relationship and how to come closer. And then we, we understand at one point by mercy that it's it's our Swamini's Krishna. And then we well again. Brindavan obstacles. Gora Chandra, what should we do? <laughs> I have no idea. It's coming, going, coming, going. Mm. You want to share something in the meantime? Yeah. Please. The devotees, Guru Dev, anyway, he knows everything. Yeah. I think sincere, we are sincere. You can listen, Master. Yeah. The sound is strange. <laughs> Internet Lila. Better? 
Yeah, it looks like. Sincere, what does it mean to be sincere? I think it's to keep myself in the process. That in this way I'm showing my sincerity. That I put myself always in the fire. You described so beautifully how we start when we assign with Krishna. We accept, okay, he is the God. But now what to do? Now we want to love him. Finally, we always listen. We have to cry for it. But how can we cry for something or someone who we don't know, who we are not acquainted to? So it is very natural that at the beginning that we don't have this strong feelings. So, but I need okay. to follow the process. Okay. And the process is also so beautifully described. By first having faith, Shraddha, no? we believe that. Now we go in association. <laughs> then we start practicing. We are in the process of purification. And then, as Anantara's Baba writing so beautifully, that Rade, George your voice is a little low. Can you speak? Rade? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. We couldn't hear you. We hear Gora Chandra, but we cannot. It's not easy to be connected with Vrinda. Rade? Yes. Please, Gora Chandra, continue because. Again, Anantaras Baba writing here in the commentary that a sincere devotee will become eager and more eager and more eager. So, sincere meaning I'm following the process. It's natural that tears are not coming in the beginning. But process means to listen always about the beauty of that. And uh, someone who once experienced the beauty, the sweetness of the service of Radharani will never forget that. But even to listen about that, Oh, we not experience that. <laughs> but just to listen about someone who has that experience, that already can bring some sweetness in our life. Only to listen that is very fortunate. That is for us the beginning. No? To start feeling something if we listen from someone, from Anantaras Baba, from Gurudev from Raghunathas Kuswami, Prabodhananda, how they describe that. Already listen about that, bring some sweetness. And we have to continue and continue and continue with that. I had one nice experience. Last week, I was reading in the Japanese lecture the book Temple of Love of Gurudev and we're reading 
the 25 qualities of Srimati Radhara. Then on Saturday, Goranga Sunda, he read Vilapkusumanjali, very beautiful Leela. Ah. When Radha and Mohan, they walking in the forest, dancing, singing romantic love songs to each other. It was, I could connect both lectures to each other. Like imagine the qualities of Srimati Radharani in this Leela. I think when we talk about Nama, Guna, Rupa and Leela, there's also like a evolution of uh, difficulty, uh, maybe. Leela Smaran is most difficult because very complex. No? The form also not so easy from tip to toe. But qualities, single quality of Radharani to remember that is more easy. And we also can connect because we also know these qualities to some extent. Uh, if somebody is shy, we know what is shyness. Yeah. And then this water, one cold water drink. Bring cold water. And bring cold water. Cold, 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 cold fish bottle. Cool. Yeah. One bottle, uh, two bottles of water. Yeah. Cool one. Drink. Two bottles of tears. <laughs> Chai Gurudev. Yeah, and Nam. Huh? To remember the name is the most easy what we can do. But qualities, only remember the first five qualities of Radharani that I mentioned. Huh? It's my meditation right now. Imagine that Leela of Goranga Sundara and meditate the qualities of Radharam. She is sweetness personified. Sweetness. Number two, she is a Radhe 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 Gora Chandra. Can you talk a little bit louder? We can hardly hear you. I'm so sorry to interrupt. I'm already speaking very loud in my room. We hear him very good. But we don't. But we don't. We hear you also very good. But then you have a problem in Vrindavan. Everyone can listen me here. We have a problem in Vrindavan. Quality number three, she, her eyes are always moving. Quality number four, she always smiles brightly. And number six is one more. Uh, she can agitate Krishna with the fragrance of her body. <laughs> that is enough to go with that qualities. Combine with, with meditation, how Radha and Mohan walking in the forest of Vrindavan, going finally near Radha Kunda. So... Sincere means we want to listen there and try to feel something and don't stop, continue, continue and some sweetness will come. If that's coming, 
then the connection is established. The magnetic power starts working like a whirlpool. In the beginning, the movement is not so strong, but we go more near and deeper, deeper, deeper. I believe we cannot escape anymore. So only to stay in the process, never stop, never give up. That is my small realization. Radhe Radhe. Thank you very much. Gauri Chandra. What should we do? We have a lot of interruptions, but we have to be patient, tolerant, knowing that it's not easy to enter in Lila, in Vrindavan. It's not a cheap thing. So many interruptions will come in the life, but if there is eagerness, it means that devotee is sincere and <laughs> Like Gorachandra said and Gurudev, and obstacles somehow we will be overcome by the mercy, not by our own strength. So let's continue to read before new interruption starts. Shripad, who is in the kingdom of Mahabhava, clearly experiences the sweetness of the wine couple when he is absorbed in his manjari bath. Only then. What is kingdom of Mahabhava? You are asking, Rudeva? Yes. Kingdom of Mahabhava. Yeah. Is the kingdom of love, and this is Radharani. Yeah. Endless, bottomless ocean of love. And how to go in that way? Kingdom of, to live in kingdom of Mahabha. We have first to find a good connection to yeah. approach this kingdom. It's not easy to approach kingdom. Ordinary person has to know someone who is already living in that kingdom and who is very, very kind, merciful to help him to come inside of that kingdom. And when he is eager to find such kind of person, then by the mercy, this special person, unique person, can enter in his life. This and then by no effort, is a mercy only. Yes, yeah. and not by a force. A force I can search it. But the mercy without, we cannot find it. Yeah. <laughs> so sincere desire wow. to attain that kingdom of Mahabhava is only possession of sadaka. Everything else is going by the Kripa. You satisfied, Gurudev? Yeah, very much. <laughs> the new youthful couple is engaged in ever new pastimes in a temple in a temple made of evergreen. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, Radhe Radhe, my dear. Wow. Krishna Kirtan, KJ. It's so good that you are there with Gurudev. Mm. The new youthful couple is engaged in ever new pastimes, in a temple made of evergreen vines, in ever new Vrindavan. The poet Vidyapati sings, in a new Vrindavan, the new trees bear newly blooming flowers, blooming. The new spring brings a new southern breeze that maddens the new bees. The new youthful couple enjoys on the bank of Yamuna in a beautiful new arbor, being immersed in feelings of ever new love. The honey from the new mango pits intoxicates the new cuckoos who sing sweet new songs. The hearts of the new young girls are maddened as they run to the new Rasika forest. The new prince meets the new lady loves that shine with an ever new splendor. In this way, they play nice new games that madden the poet Vidyapati's heart. So many times poet Vidyapati is using this word Nava, 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 new, 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 everything is a new. All feelings are new. He is speaking these words from Gopiba, from Sakiba, because he is situated in his Taibhava in Sakiba. And he is glorifying the meeting between Krishna and Sakis. But Baba is giving here example how Vrindavan is always full of love, which is never old, which is always fresh. And then we can ask the question, why is like that? Why Raja is always Nava, 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 Nava in so many things? And the answer which is coming to me is because this is the kingdom of Mahabhav. Mahabhava Swarupini Rade Takuran. Her love is always emanating, animating, emanating. Passionate love, Anurag. And because of that passionate love, everything is new. Every moving creatures or unmoving creatures are new, fresh. And all Vrindavan is burning in these feelings of new ever fresh of fresh love which radhika very expertly spread everywhere to please her lover and it only depends from which bhava 
in which Bhava devotee is situated, that he can relish this new, ever fresh feelings. So this is the Raja. Place of every new, fresh love. And this is the only place which is suitable for Paraki above. Because Paraki above needs always freshness, always that something is going new and new and new and new. And nobody knows what will happen, which kind of miracle which will intensify love, will happen. So this is the proper and unique and only place when Radha and Krishna can exchange their loving, amorous, paraki above pastimes. And in that mood, Prabhupada Saraswati is writing these words. Like Gora Chandra very nicely make this comparison with qualities of Radharani, especially first four, five, six qualities, where these qualities are so, so, so prominent. And everyone can meditate on these qualities in connection with Lila, not without. With connection with the real person. their nama can become relishable and sweet. Thank you, Gaurachandra. You opened my eyes. Look, from this, what we were reading, I remember Gurudev once time said, actually, with philosophy you cannot fix your mind. It's not possible. We can add also with rituals, we cannot fix the mind. But only pastimes, loving, sweet pastimes, sweet lilas, can help the mind to be fixed. It's very interesting. And it's real truth. Because in philosophy, there are so many arguments, logics from this side, that side, from so many angles. And ultimately, the nature of mind is to be restless. His be mind becomes more restless, not fixed. But when the person is listening to Lila. His mind is very attentive. I don't want to miss anything. So this is clear, practical example for us sadakas. That by listening the lilas, mind will be much more easier fixed. And Nama Rupa Guna immediately starts to grow, to grow in the heart of loving devotee. Not through philosophy. Radhe, that is also the beauty of our tradition. Uh, first, we have to fix our mind one point, that then variety, no? ocean of variety opens, and the mind can play freely in that ocean of qualities, 
in that ocean of leelas, in that ocean of names. and uh, So the yogi will only want to fix the Paramatma, nothing else. Everything become one-pointed without variety. But the Bhakta, he want to fix first only in Ishtadev, but then variety is coming. That makes more easy for the mind and uh, relishable. Really the mind, be I think Anantaras Babaji also writing in one of his books, comments, uh, that the mind is so happy to, <laughs> to go here and there. Uh, that is unique in Bhakti. Was there? forms and the qualities and the leelas. No, so yes, you are right. Yeah. yeah. Mind becomes soft and tender when he is one-pointed. Otherwise, when he is not one-pointed, he is a harsh, he is a hard, he is a heavy guy. Sorry that I interrupted you. Now Baba is giving the commentary. The new adolescent girl is embraced by the proud, strong arms of Mohan in the new vine temple that is made of new flowers and buds. Mm. Why are his arms so proud? Because these arms killed the powerful demons, Keshi and Arishta. Srila Raguna Das Goswami wrote in Vilapa Kusumanjali, words 76. O oh, nicely tied Rade, when will you increase? the ocean of my bliss. When I see the victor over Arishta, Krishna, how he is picking the flowers to decorate and dress you with. Oh, nicely tied Radhe, when will you increase the ocean of my bliss? When I see the victor over Arishta, Krishna, pick flowers to decorate and dress you with it. Even a hero like Arishta Jai cannot remain calm when he decorates the dresses Sorry, when he decorates and dresses you. Even a hero like Arishta Jai cannot remain calm when he decorates and dresses you. He will perspire, horripilate, and shiver of ecstasy when he touches your divine body that is made of pure love. So we can see here how in Krishna's transcendental pure body different sattvic abhavs appear when he is dressing, ornamenting or touching Radharani's body. He is perspiring, he is horripilate, he is shivering out of ecstasy. He cannot control himself 
He is the killer in the Vishnu form. Okay. He is the killer of demons. But when he is in front of young adolescent Kishoriji, he is trembling. <coughs> he is crying. He is fainting. He manifests. And this is Krishna which Manjaris likes to serve. This kind of Krishna is a person to whom Manjaris are praying also. Please, be merciful to me and bring me to Radharan because you will also need me. You will need me. Gurudev was explaining how Radhika is needing Manjaris, but also Mohan is someone who is a great need for Manjaris Seva. So Manjaris are very clever and they are using their position to pray to him. Please bring me to Radharan. Do you want to explain us? When it said proud hands of Aritita Jai, someone who is victorious to this demon, who is Arishta? Good. Thank you. Good day. No. You promised you promise that you will give us some drops. I mean, please say. Hmm. I don't know much about Arishta. Yes, really? I know. Uh, I know about many demons because they are present in my heart. That's the point. Yeah, so you you have to enlighten us how to overcome that. I'm still in it, you know. <laughs> I'm drowning in this ocean of demon, demoniac mentality. So I have. As I remember what Gurudev said, and uh, also it's according to Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Arista is a bull, and he, in one sense, he's representing Dharma, but with, in his presence, this is the false Dharma, false religious, which is not Kaitava Dharma, which is not pure Dharma. And pure Dharma, <laughs> is the Jaiva Dharma and is Prema Dharma and out of this everything is not the pure. So when Arishtaji, this kind of demon appears in the heart of the person, he suddenly don't understand what is the difference between pure religion and false religion. He is confused. He doesn't have discrimination. And very spontaneously, he is following false religion. Many of us. Someone who has a strong samskaras, strong, strong sukritis, he is saved. He immediately recognizes this is false and this is pure religion. I will follow pure religion because he already came in this world with a pure heart. But I'm not in that category. So I have to go through this painful process of killing the demon in my heart. <clears throat> how you can kill these demons. Please very, help me. It's really, it's really easy. Krishna himself explained it in the Bhagavad Gita in the last 
verse. This was what this Gurudev always explaining, Sarva Dharma Parichaya. In that moment, we surrender to his one, his only one, all, chemo, all demons are killed because we surrender to the pure love of Radhika and there is no more place for any demon in our hearts because we offer her our heart as a seed and wherever she is, there is no space for any demon. So it's easy. We only have to follow <laughs> Krishna's <laughs> instructions, isn't it? Perfectly, my dear. Just surrender to Radha and everything will vanish. Jai Ho. In this pastime, Swamini experiences once more how proud Krishna's arms are. Her body becomes motionless because of Krishna's tight embrace. Only the Rasika devotees can understand these transcendental pastimes that have nothing to do with the mundane, lusty dealings between ordinary boys and girls of this world. Only Rasik devotees can understand these transcendental pastimes that have nothing to do with the mundane lusty dealings between ordinary boys and girls of this world. Although Nara Lila between Radha and Mohan looks like mundane, loving pastimes, it's not. It's completely opposite. So understanding the difference between Prema and karma is very, very necessary for proper practicing devotional life. Baba is continuing. It's only transcendental supreme love that can intoxicate Sri Krishna, the supreme being, and the maidservants can directly witness that. It's only transcendental supreme love that can intoxicate Krishna. And maidservants can directly witness that. Topmost intoxication of Mohan can only see the Manjaris, can only relish his sweetness. His most intoxicated state when he is in Ivriti Nikunja with Shimata Krishna doesn't need anything like a Supreme Personality of Godhead. Who can offer him anything but he feels hungry, thirst for love of his devotees. This is the only thing which is giving him really life. Without love of his devotees, I cannot imagine that he is existing at all. And who is the most prominent, exalted devotee? 
Shimateratra. Because she is embodiment of love. So it's completely natural that he is losing himself when he is only with her. Without any hesitation, without any shame, he has allowed himself to be the victim of Radharani's strong waves of love. And Manjaris are so happy when they see him in this intoxicating mood. Even Krishna, who is called Ananda Gana Vigraha, the form of deep transcendental bliss, faints when he remembers these pastimes. He faints when he remembers what to say when he is directly engaged in these pastimes. Sri Rupa Goswami writes in Ujjwala Nilamani. Once Sanyasini came to Vraja from Mathura, entered the assembly of gopis, blessed them all and said, May Murari, Krishna, who faints when he even slightly remembers his pastimes with Radha in a kunja on the glossy bank of Yamuna, although he was already studded with the goose pimples of ecstasy, because of Rukmini's tight embrace in the ocean temple of Dvaraka that is shining with the jewels. May that Murari protect you. I repeat again. Sanyasini from Mathura came to Raja and entered the assembly of Gopis and blessed them all and said, May Murari, who faints when he even slightly resembles his pastimes with Radha, in a kunjas on the glossy bank of Yamuna, although he was already studded with the goose pimples of ecstasy, because of Rukmini's tight embrace in the ocean temple of Dvaraka that is shining with jewels, may that Murari protect you, my dear Gopis. So we can see here the position of Krishna. He manifests some symptoms when he is tightly embraced with his wife, Rukmini, because of her love. But when he remembers Radha's pastimes, he immediately faints. And this is the power of Prema Shakti. This is the power of Mahabhava kingdom. This is the power of personification of Mahabhava, Shimate, Radharani, Jaya Shri. She is Jaya Shri because he faints and no one can put him in this condition to faint. He can cry with different devotees. He can have goose pimples, we can hear here. 
but no one can make him to faint. And only Manjaris, Radhika's intimate King Karis, can relish this sweetness. Yorishwana Chakravati Thakur compares Radha with the wish yielding wine that fulfills all of Krishna's desires with her sweet nectarian pastime. Hence the word Parimala Bada is said. And in the words Prabhupada Saraswati is saying very clearly, Radha who manifests, this Kishoriji who manifests herself as embodiment of deep eternal bliss, Rasa and Prima. And all these qualities, she is bringing in intimate lilas, intimate pastimes, loving pastimes with her lover. All these qualities just splash in the part of the second splash. Mohan and bring him in the state of unconsciousness. This is the power of Radharani's love. And we sadakas also are praying that some tiny ray of Radharani's Mahabha enter in our heart and completely change our nature. In his spiritual vision, Sri Prabhupada can see the loving power of Radhika over Krishna. Now, the words, uh, the song is in a beautiful new wine temple in Vrindavan, Vishabhanu's daughter, who is full of Krishna, Krishna Mai, who is the very form of love, and who is Krishna's most beloved, she is embraced by Govinda's proud and strong arms. When she was touched by Mohan, she could not hold her heart anymore out of ecstasy. But she was not able to move her body anymore. This girl from Raja knows innumerable arts of love and is always absorbed in ecstatic games. This is very nice. For meditation, for bhajan. Radhika is motionless. She cannot move. She is completely stunned. When Krishna's arm came around her shoulder. And 
we can see here this is also the symptom of one of the symptoms of sattvic bhava between two lovers. And in that way, through her motionless, Radhika is giving the pleasure to Mohan. He is completely fascinated with this stage of Radharani's ecstasy. When nothing is moving on her beautiful, tender body, he is completely stunned. And these girls from Raja know innumerable arts of love. How to become motionless. This is the art of love. And is always absorbed in ecstatic games. So this is the end, I think. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, no. One more verse is. Oh, look. The jewel of adolescent girls of Raja is the victor. How beautiful Radhika looks in Shyama's company. Saraswati says, Oh brother, my goddess Rai is an ocean of bliss for Nanda's son. Oh look, the jewel of adolescent girls of Raja is the victor. She is the victor, although she is motionless. She is a victor because through her manifestation of prema, of, in the form of motionless, when Mohan put the hand on her shoulder, she is giving him so much pleasure. And she is conquering him without a even slightest movement of her body. But he is conquering him with strong intensity, unlimited intensity of her Mahabal. So when he, she is motionless, studded, she stills for Mohan's pleasure emanating, emanating Madana, Madana Kya Mahaba. This is why she is victor, victorious. But, uh, Lord Angasuna, this, uh, now your relatives make relatives the strong arms of Krishna. He with the strong arms uh, faint even when he only see Radhika. So she no need to move. So what about his strong arms, killer of demons? This, this is a sarcastic way of jokes. How? Manjaris are joking with Krishna and say, eh, you have the strongest arms. You are the killer of the demons, Arishta. Hey, it's not wow. piece of cake to be killer of the Arishta. Every guy. Yes. So this is the cleverness of Manjari Bhav. How they are provoke him in a sarcastic way. And in that way, they are celebrating, glorifying Radharani even more. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice that you are there in Raja. Please pray for me. <laughs> no, no. Uh, so this I... is the end, my friend. <laughs> this is the end of the words and the commentaries and devotees, Gurudev, if you want to share. To no, give no. Us very nice, very good. <laughs> yeah.
Gurudev. We are trying to serve. Yeah. What to do? Thank you very much, Gauri Chandra, for helping us. I will remember this very nice point with, about this qualities of Radharani, which are always implemented in the Lilas. So, Radhe Radhe, thank you, everyone, and sorry for my mistakes, arrogance, and all misbehavior. Radhe Radhe. Yeah. Jai Guru Dev. Radhe. Radhe. Love you. Radhe Radhe Guru Dev. I love you. Love you, Guru Dev. Jai Radhe. <laughs> バカ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Dojmi, <laughs> 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 <laughs